Hi guys, down in the shop again today. I'm working on another little mini project. This is gonna be nothing spectacular. Um, I'm literally using garbage for this one. This is all just junk that I either had in the house that I'm throwing out or stuff that I literally got out of the garbage. Um, my girlfriend's been doing these diamond painting things and uh, she's doing them on the dining room table and it's hurting her neck. So I'd like to build her a little easel or something to hold it up. So I've got the frame from one of those little folding tables. Uh, this is a shelf from an old uh, entertainment uh, TV stand that we had. I might use a 2x4. I've got a dollar store clipboard that I'm hoping will hold the sheet down for. And just to the left here, I've got a huge sheet of one inch um, MDF from an old treadmill. So I'm gonna see if I can throw these things together with no plans to uh, make some sort of easel for her. So here we go. Okay, so now we have our base. I'm gonna start working on this little uh, lifting assembly. I already uh, drilled out the rivets here and pulled out the pins um, on the pieces that were on the outside. Uh, once I trim this down, I'm going to put something on the inside just so there's uh, nothing sticking out beyond the board. <laughs> so I'm going to head over to the bandsaw and trim this right now. Okay, so I've got this little uh, PNG thing trimmed and uh, I think that looks pretty good. I rounded the corners so nothing will rub and uh, since I trashed the other uh, parts of the hinges I just made these up and those are going to go here the inside and I'm going to put a bolt through to attach those. So I need to drill some holes here and attach that so I'm going to do that now. Okay, now I'm going to attach the uh, board to the frame. Yeah, that seems to work pretty good. Now let's uh, flip that over and put some screws in there. Okay, well now that's attached now. I think that looks pretty good. So next I'm going to put something here, a couple of stoppers, so she can adjust it to the height that she wants. Maybe I'll notch a 2x4 or something. Put that there. So let's do that next. Okay, so the 2x4 would have been too thick to fit under here when it's closed up, so I'm going to use another piece of the 1 inch MDF. And I'm just going to use the router to make a couple of grooves in there, so she has a couple of different heights that she can set it to. Okay, 
Okay, so I have all those grooves cut out. I probably should have built a better jig rather than freehanding it because they're not the straightest, but they're gonna do uh, the job they need to do and you're not really gonna see that much. So I'm not too worried about it. So now I'm going to attach it to the base and then it should be pretty much done other than the clip on the top. Uh, so I'm going to attach that now. There, so that's attached and now we can see all the different uh, height settings. That'll work pretty good. This one here is very strong and I need to reinforce it. Still folds up nice. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so since MDF is pretty brittle, I added a layer of glue just to seal all those edges there. I've got one piece that I went a little thin with the uh, router, and I don't think that it's gonna hold, but um, for now, this is the only one inch thick piece of wood that I had. Um, if this does fail in the future, I'll just go out and get like a one inch board, like five quarter or whatever, and uh, redo that. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to drill out these rivets on the clipboard so I can remove that clip to put it on the top of the, uh, the plate here. Okay, so let's drill some holes for that. Okay, so that's on now. That works pretty good. That'll do. Okay, now I'm going to give that a quick coat of flat rock. Okay, so now the paint's dry, I added some felt pads underneath so it doesn't scratch the cable. And you can see here the uh, diamond painting just clips right on. You can lift it up and adjust the height. So that's the first setting. That's the second. And the third. And the fourth. And the fifth. I think that's pretty good. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this project. Uh, this was really a basic, uh, very cheap project. Uh, I didn't spend any money on this. Total cost, I would say maybe $2, including the clipboard, which is a dollar, and maybe a dollar worth of paint. Um, this was just a recycling project using garbage. I could have made something much nicer, but really for how much it's gonna be used, this should be fine. Uh, maybe I'll do something in the future. I know you can buy these online for about 30 bucks, fancy light up ones, but this will do the job, I think. Um, so yeah, like I said, uh, comment below. Let me know what you think, if you've done something similar to this. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. And uh, thanks for watching.